Okay, I'd like to call this meeting to order. <clears throat> uh, welcome everybody. This is the regular meeting of the Leonard Village Council. Today is April the 9th. I want to welcome everybody. Um, ask you to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and a brief invocation. And if you would, our thoughts and condolences go out to President Don Irwin, and he lost his wife Tracy, and uh, I think we're all uh, feel for him for his loss. Yeah. So, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you guide the decisions of this council and may they be in the best interest of this village. In your name we pray, amen. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, could we have a roll call for attendance of the council? President McDonald? Here. Mrs. Sotheby? Here. Mr. Amaranti? Here. Mr. Huffman? Here. Mr. Kennedy? Here. And we'll note for the record that both Clerk Cindy Groskopf and Treasurer Judy Burse are present. Council, you have the minutes of the regular meeting from March 12th, 2018. Are there any questions, changes, or corrections? If none, a motion to approve the minutes would be in order. I'd like to make a motion to approve the minutes as presented. I'll second that. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor of the motion to approve the minutes of March 12th, please say aye. Aye. Opposed, please say no. Aye. Council has before it an agenda for this evening. If there are no changes or corrections, a motion to approve the agenda would be in order. Motion to approve the agenda as it is. I'll support. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor of the motion to approve the agenda, please say aye. aye. Opposed, please say no. Motion carries. Council has before it the treasurer's report <coughs> for March. Are there any questions regarding that? If none, a motion to re approve the treasurer's report would be in order. I, I'll second it. Mr. Elmerani? Yeah, I'll make a motion to approve the treasurer's report. Thank you. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, uh, can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? Yes. President McDonald? Yes. Mrs. Sotheby? Yes. Mr. Moranti? Yes. Okay. The next item on the agenda is the accounts payable. Council has before it the uh, Accounts payable list for the general, major, and local funds. There are no questions or corrections. A motion to pay the bills would be in order. What did we buy for three fifty? What did we buy? What? Loggers. That was the oh, DPW logger oh, okay. that we authorized last meeting. Yeah. Yep. Just curious. Nope. Yeah. Any other questions? I make a motion to pay the bills. Second. It. $6,647.36 in the general, $3,513.39 in the major, $101.25 in the local. I'll second that. Are there any questions on the motion? Hearing none, could we have a roll call to pay the bills, please? President McDonald? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mr. Amaranti? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? Yep. Mrs. Sotheby? Yes. Okay, moving on to the next item on the agenda is public comment. This is an opportunity for the public to address the Village Council on any matter. Um, if you're here about a particular item that's already on the agenda under new business or old business, um, you'll have a chance to speak to it at that time. Otherwise, we ask that you keep your points brief and uh, address the Village Council uh, accordingly. Anybody care to speak? I have a question. Um, I'm interested in the process of how to obtain a permit to build a pole barn. Um, I'm reading the ordinance and it's 
kind of confusing, but kind of not. It says 25% of rear yard. Is that a true statement in the in the uh, ordinance? I would expect so, but you can contact uh, the village office if you need help deciphering it. Okay, I just I just wanted to know if that. Uh, if that was the proper way. And then also... Well, there are setback requirements, mm -hmm. lot coverage requirements as well. Correct, yeah. I mean, that, that's where the lot coverage is 25% of the 10-foot easement off the side lines. But I, was, <clears throat> but I can contact... Who would I contact? The Village of Leonard. Judy. Just the office. The office. Just call. Okay. And also, um, a few years back, I um, brought to the village about the water that was in, <clears throat> in the Ashley's so-called yard pond that it supposed to drain from their pond to the drain by the DPW building. Mm -hmm. um, back then, no one really gave me a straight answer. Is it a village responsibility to make sure that that water drains through there? Or well, it's pretty much up to nature and, and water and soil conditions how anything drains in Leonard. I, I so understand that, but I mean, there's the, very little fall between that area and the village drain, and that's why often there is a lot, as you've seen in the village, there's a lot of ponding. Right, I, I understand that, but the, years ago there was a, a, a trench, I guess you want to call it, dug out, and it's grown in and filled in with dirt and, and grass. So well, I, I'll have the DPW, Don, take a look at it. Okay. Anybody else? Yes, okay. Is there something going on next door? Next door. In the building, I'm not aware of anything. There's four little signs posted on the front door. Oh, that something's coming soon. Um, Judy, have you gotten anything in the office? Mm -hmm. there's, been, there's an activity around there, people going in the building and taking pictures. Well, it's you know, it's as long as it's the owner, it's legal, <laughs> you know, they well, own I mean, the property. I'm just curious if no, we have not. To my knowledge, we haven't gotten an application or anything for, for anything there. What does it say is coming soon? It sounds like a bar or something. Well, we need one. Some people might feel that way. Okay, if, is there anybody else? Hearing none, uh, we'll move on to new business. Uh, Council, you should find in your packet a uh, communication from road maintenance offering to uh, charge the village eight cents a foot uh, per application of chloride for village uh, alleys and streets. And um, they also would charge $50 per application for the Pollyann Trail parking lot. In uh, as much as this is the only bid we receive, um, it would be appropriate to authorize the village to utilize road maintenance for our chloride applications this year. Now, did you say that they want to know if we want to put it down on the trail? No, that's, to my knowledge, this is just for the parking lot. Trail, parking lot. trailhead parking, parking lot. lot. Oh, okay. Is there a motion then to authorize uh, road maintenance as a chloride provider? I so move. I'll second. <clears throat> you got it. Are there any questions on the motion? Uh, can we have a roll call, please? Mr. Amaranti? No. Mr. Hoffman? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Mrs. Sotheby? Yes. President McDonald? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Uh, moving on to uh, item number two under new business. Uh, we have two volunteers, uh, residents that have expressed an interest in becoming members of the uh, beautification committee for the village of Leonard. Uh, Michelle Hauk and Megan Rayner. I think I'm saying that name right. Megan. Megan? Megan. Megan, my apologies. <laughs> Is that double E? M E? Okay. Welcome. Um, Megan Rayner and Michelle Houck. So, if council, I would recommend council appoint them to the uh, decorating committee. I'll make a motion to appoint them to the decorating committee. 
there's support? Yep, I'll second. Any questions? If none, all in favor of the motion to appoint Michelle Houck and Megan Rayner to the uh, uh, dec uh, Village Decorating Committee, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no. Welcome aboard. Husbands get involved too. <laughs> and just ask Kay. Kay's our uh, decorating chairperson, Mr. Rayner. So. All right. Okay. Uh, next item on the agenda is uh, Oakland County Local Road Improvement Grant. I just wanted to inform the council that I did submit our uh, your grant application that you authorized last month, and we should be in the first round for approval this spring, which would be uh, very timely. Okay, and finally, uh, under new business, the village newsletter. I've received three articles. I will make room for more. Um, I'm still planning on publishing before the end of the month. So if anybody has anything they want to get in, please uh, send it to me. Um, along that line, I was going to ask the council to authorize uh, mailing it to the residents rather than um, distributing them um, either in mailboxes and at the stores. Uh, it should probably, it would probably cost Mailing is the biggest part of the cost. It would probably be almost as much as publishing. So um, I think uh, authorizing $200 for uh, publishing and posting would be adequate to do that. So. You don't think you can put it into the, <clears throat> the mail place over there on the table? Well, we have, but there's no guarantee that everybody Nobody gets it. The people that don't stop to get yeah. their mail. You know, a lot of out-of-town out residents pick it up. Yeah. So. yeah. We'll still email it to the residents that have their uh, addresses on our email list, but um, I think there's going to be some good, important information in this one, so we might as well make sure that it gets out. So are you looking for a motion? Yes, please. I make a motion that we authorize the village to spend up to $200 for <laughs> publication and mailing. Of the newsletter. Where are we pulling? Are there any questions on the motion? Your expense. <laughs> Could I have a roll call, please? President sure. McDonald? Yes. Mrs. Sotheby? Yes. Mr. Amaranti? Yes. Mr. Hoffman? Yes. Mr. Kennedy? Yes. Okay. Under unfinished business, um, just an update for the council and the public. Uh, April 23rd has been targeted as the date on which. Um, Row Engineering will be back with uh, uh, the road contractor and the curbing contractors to make the necessary repairs uh, this spring for the concrete work that's uh, that needs to needs further attention. So, hope. Has a question on that? Down on Division, where they they added that extra little area onto Division, the it. When it dips down so the water can run down, that's why it flooded completely over the sidewalk this winter. Um, and it doesn't get to that drain. Well, that may be, I will have that looked into, Phyllis, but okay. we had a problem. They, the contractor did not remove all of the drain uh, blocks. They had put these bags into each one of the yeah, drains. Yeah, yeah. And if that, if that uh, had not been removed, that would have added to the flooding it's, problem. The area that flooded is, is lower than the drain. Okay. Well, the and the way that it comes down, like ramps down, mm -hmm. it flows right into that. What I'm worried about is starting the festival day. If we have a rain oh. the week before and that whole area is flooded, what are we okay. going to do, you know? Because it was flooded all the way over the sidewalk and both of the first two trees were flooded. Okay. I, I will walk up to the school. I'll, so flooded. I'll make sure that that is attended to. Yeah, I don't know what the purpose of is having that water running down into that area. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm looking at it wrong. I have no yeah. idea. We'll get it looked at. Thank you. All right. Anything else? They didn't do anything here with the corner. Yes. I mean, that was, they kind of brought that out to damn far. You can't hardly turn around there. Oh, well, that, I'm, no, that, that is, uh, to MDOT specifications. However, we are going to do some drainage improvements and a curb cut there. Uh, 
by for uh, the old post office. I guess. What about the front of Sam's store? There's no parking, literally. That's yeah, cool. Until. Until you park there, it's illegal at this point. Un, until until MDOT approves the job, which won't be until after all these repairs are done, everything has to stay the way it is. And then after that, we'll see what happens. Okay, um, moving on then. Um, I believe Don is going to try to grade some roads here uh, as soon as he can. And. Uh, Hopefully we won't need any salt or snow, snow plows. Um, there were no uh, Freedom of Information Act requests. Um, we did was not no report this month. Pardon? Was no report this month. No. CDBG. We didn't get one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, we didn't get any applications uh, for uh, our minor home repair uh, program either. Uh, under ordinance enforcement, we still have two open items. One of them, I just want to inform the council that uh, I have sent another letter to 4285 Forest after the after the tragic fire. Um, I spoke with the village attorney, and he recommended that the village ask for the property owner's cooperation in cleaning it up. And if he doesn't respond, then we will uh, ticket him. And then if he does not clean up, then we will file a, a go to court to get it cleaned up. Why, why is this still going to court? I mean, thing burned out and they, it's gone. And the following mm -hmm. day he was out there cleaning up. I did witness it. Well, why are we it, paying it, the attorney out it, of our money to deal well, with Well, we're that? not yet, but it's still a mess. Okay. I uh -huh. mean, you can't store stuff out of doors like oh. that. He was, he's broken every code there was. Well, right. I, I, and, I, 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 and there's still problems there, so until it's cleaned up, the village has to do something. Right. I so he's he's being given he's this. been well he's been get, he's being given a reasonable amount of time, more than reasonable amount of time, to do something, and he has chosen, like a lot of people do, not to do, to not do anything. Right. So it's just the way it goes. Okay. Um, next item is. Uh, I want to uh, inform the council that on May 14th, which is our regular meeting date, I'm going to ask the council to be in attendance at 6 p.m. Uh, for the reason that uh, Main Street organization and the village leadership, um, and I will be inviting the planning commission and anybody else um, that may uh, wish to attend, we're going to uh, kind of brainstorm on what we can do to help the village uh, improve itself economically as well as in appearance and we'll also talk about the uh, the future of the Leonard Mill and then at 7 p.m. we'll have our regular meeting and during that meeting there will be a brief presentation from the Main Street leadership to the village uh, just to clarify what yeah. was the date and time for that um, May 14th. May 14th at 6 p.m. here at Roland Hall. Okay. And then after, it will be an hour-long meeting, and then we will go directly into our village council meeting. Okay. Thank you. It will be open to the public. I mean, if anybody wants to attend. <clears throat> okay. Uh, regarding private roads, which I brought up last month, um, I'd like to offer that uh, if anybody that lives on a private road wishes to meet with the village council or with myself uh, regarding the problems they have and any potential solutions that, that might be available to them. Um, I'd like to make myself available and um, to either meet or provide information. Um, once that, once we've done that, I can, if there are questions, I can relay them to the village attorney and he can give us some advice. Paul, what's been going on is there's been questions about why some private roads are in such bad shape and things like that and what what if anything can the village do about it so okay um, and informationally uh, it looks like the North Oakland Transportation Authority is going to uh, ask for a millage renewal um, that will probably occur at our no, at our no. it's, it, I believe it or not it's been you know four and a half years so um, 
It would be from 2019 to 2024, and that would be a quarter mil again, as it was the last time around. Okay, moving on to the trustee committee reports, summer festival committee. Um, we had our meeting last Monday, and we now have a new treasurer who lives in the village. She's a CPA, and she's going to do the treasurer. We're still looking for somebody to take the parade on, and somebody to be the secretary. Marie's going to still be on the committee, but she's giving up secretary. Um, the only other thing we, we are, like I told you a few minutes ago, we are making sure the parade is at noon. Um, and the only thing, and I'll remind you again, I won't be here next month, but the month after, they, the Derby people would like for Donnie to fill as many cracks as he can up there. Because last year, I guess, one of the little Derby cars hit a crack and it just landed just right. Nobody got hurt. but. They just want as many cracks as possible filled. Okay. All right. Thank you. Cable Commission. We have a meeting. Yet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Decorating committee. Well, Can I have a meeting? Yeah, we're going to have some people. I guess we're having a meeting. Well, um, we'll get the contact information, uh, yours, to the new uh, members, and then you can get a hold of them or they can get a hold of you. How's that for now? And then once you do set a date, let us know. Okay. Planning Commission. We're still working on the uh, master plan, okay. uh, addressing the new requirements for FEMA and like disaster recovery that we didn't address in the past. And also uh, uh, funding sources we're uh, trying to incorporate those new funding sources into the back section of the plan. <coughs> and um, we'll scheduling a public hearing on the zoning board of appeals, reducing the number of people from 7 o'clock. Okay. That'll probably be in June? Yeah. June? Okay. Very good. We're going to have a meeting this month? This month, yes, but not in May. Okay. Very good. Thank you, Leslie. Pollyann Trail, uh, there's a meeting April 18th. I believe it's at Addison Township, but you might want to check the schedule. Um, Main Street, as I indicated, uh, May 14th, we're going to meet with them as a council and community. And then uh, they'll make a brief presentation to us afterwards. Village Parks. I think we have a meeting. Wednesday. Wednesday, yeah. 7 p.m. here, right? Yep. North Oakland Transportation Authority. I think I already let that uh, information out. I don't think there's anything further. The community Development Block Grant, I guess we did not get our monthly report, but there should be no change. I don't think we've, uh, we haven't handled any applications or expenditures at this point. So is there anything else to come before the council? Any council member? Anybody else? I, I have one quick question. Um, <clears throat> every, every once a week they have that lady that comes down and gives out papers, throws them on the end of your driveway. Is there any way that the village can contact them. I have. And I have, I told the lady not to put them in my driveway. I've done the same thing. What can we do to stop yeah, it? We've had, we've had someone in the yeah. community drive around and pick them up and yeah. fill them Yeah, and Steve, Ed, Steve Edgar drove around and filled his yes. golf cart up oh, yeah. with, with yeah. old papers. And I, 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 sent them, I sent them pictures of them and I said, I'm going to ticket the next time I catch somebody. But we haven't caught anybody. But I have to ask the deputies to stop. I think she must get paid for them because I told her I don't it's need ridiculous. them. It's ridiculous. And she said, oh, please, I'm going. All they right. get paid. Well, I've, paid called, yeah. I've called the numbers. Yeah. The yeah. Oakland Press and talked to somebody and told them what's going on and told them I don't want it. Yeah. And they don't pay any they attention. Tell me, they assure me that, oh, we're going to take care of it. You won't get any more papers. Yeah. yeah. Well, okay, we'll call yeah. 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 The reason why I bring it to your attention is because the snowblower finds them, then the whole neighborhood yeah. finds it. Yeah. You know, and then the plow truck finds it, then my 
my yard and everybody else probably <laughs> finds it. I just figured I'd bring it to the village so that way we can, as a village. Yeah, it's been, you're not the first. I know, but so. yeah, it's been a good time. It's been a good time. It's been a good time. Okay. I have a question. Yes. Um, the, uh, is anything happening with the uh, Leonard Market edition? No, um, I understand that an application was applied for, but that was a HVAC. Right. Have they pulled a permit for anything like that? No, that is also in the, that's actually, I've taken that out of the building department's hands and put that in the hands of our attorney, so. Here or there? That yeah. The shed or whatever you call that mess. Oh. Okay, is there the anything? Tree, the tree that was cut down by the end of our driveway and granted the stuff was ground down and you know everything looks nice, but all those wood chips are now backing up that ditch to when we had those heavy rains, it almost mm -hmm. covered our driveway and it was not flowing to the drain right there. Okay. And it's starting to fill the drain actually. Actually that drain's been filled with sand for probably four years for the most part. But yeah. now all those wood no, chips. No no good deed there. goes yeah. unpunished. Huh? No good deed goes unpunished. But now, you know, it's just everything's backing up. I understand. Works. I'll I'll have them out in the backyard and burn them. Nice pile. It's they don't burn. Little. They don't burn. <laughs> <laughs> they don't burn. <laughs> 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 them in the ditch, but. Um... Yeah. Okay, is there anything else? I'm almost afraid to ask. No, just kidding. Okay, if there's nothing further, what's the pleasure of the council? Can I make a motion that we adjourn? I'll second it. All in favor of the motion to adjourn, please say aye. 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 Opposed, please say no.